Following World War II, Chappie James continued his military duty and established a reputation as an outstanding fighter pilot during the Korean War. He also served with distinction in Vietnam and in July of 1970 was promoted to general and became only the fourth man of his race to do so. In 1976, General James attained the rank of four-star general, the highest rank in the American military during peacetime. Two years later, he died of a heart attack. In an interview just months before his death, General James talked about his views on black leadership. I think you are limiting yourself any time you decide to be a black leader, uh, any time you decide to be a white leader, any time you decide to be a Catholic leader. Uh, I think that you should, the mantle of leadership comes through preparation. Leaders are made, they're not born. And they make themselves through total dedication and preparation. We find too many young people today who come out of high school saying they're going to college and have no idea what they're going to take or what they're going to specialize in once they get there. You find too many of them stopping when they have the means to go further at the bachelor's degree level. And as you and I know, Tony, the bachelor's degree has been relegated to the position of a high school diploma when I came along. And so you've got to go further. Preparation is the first thing. We want to take that crutch away from the white bigot who has always said, I would have hired a black one, but I couldn't find one that's qualified. So I think that we need to get out of that mold of being a black leader and opt for the whole piece of the pie because it's out there. The main key to success therein is preparation in a given discipline or the versatility to be able to be a master or well-informed over a certain field of discipline. So they have more, they find it more and more difficult to say, I wanted one, but I can't find one that's qualified. Unfortunately, too often today that's true, because the people that are qualified and that are ready, they, they'll find that those doors are open. Another quote from my mother, she said, don't stand there banging on that door of opportunity, yelling, let me in, let me in, let me in. And all of a sudden, somebody snatches open the door, and you say, wait a minute, I got to go get my bags. He said, you stand there armed with your bags of knowledge, your bags of understanding and your bags of desire, and when they crack that door, step in and take charge. Well, you can do that now, but you've got to prepare yourself first. 